everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me with Artsphere again today. This video is going to be another mindfulness activity, specifically something called a mindfulness jar. This project is a great way to create a visual of what it looks like when strong emotions overwhelm us and also what it looks like when we start to calm down. So this activity is super simple. We only need four things. So first, of course, a clear jar. You can use any jar that you find in the kitchen from a jelly jar, peanut butter jar, pickle jar. You could even use a clear plastic jar as long as it has a top that screws on and stays sealed. Next, you're gonna need some glitter. After that, food coloring or a thin paint and water to fill the jar with. Let's get started by making the jar and I'll explain to you along the way what we're focusing on with this jar. Okay, welcome back to my little craft table. We're gonna get started by making our mindfulness jar. So the first thing you're gonna do, obviously unscrew the jar and you're gonna fill your jar up almost all the way with water. Like that. And then using your food coloring or paint of choice, you're gonna pick a color. I think I'm gonna do pink for mine. You wanna add the color to the water. Like that. And then seal the lid and you're gonna shake it up. All right, now that your color is added and the water is completely colorful, we're gonna go on to the next step, which is just to add glitter to your jar. So I wanna seal it carefully so you don't spill anything. And then you can just shake some glitter into the jar as much as you want. I think I'm gonna use around that much. And I'm gonna seal it right back up again, nice and tight. And shake it to see if that's as much glitter that you want. Super simple, right? When you're done with the exercise, you should have a jar that looks something like this. Really colorful and enough glitter that it swirls around like a snow globe. So when you're done making your jar, we can move on to a thought exercise using the jar to demonstrate how your emotions work. Now, obviously, it would be great if we could all be peaceful, happy, and calm all the time, every day. But that's just not the case, as we all know. Every so often, a really strong emotion can come up that's confusing and stressful, and it overclouds your mind, meaning it's super hard to think about anything else but those feelings, and you can even make some pretty silly decisions when you're overwhelmed. These feelings can be anything like sadness, anger, anxiety, or stress. And when you're feeling these ways, it doesn't feel good. So the mindfulness jar is a great way to demonstrate what this looks like and it doubles as a tool that you can use to bring yourself down into a calmer place so you can make better choices and you just don't feel as upset. The breathing exercise I wanna share with you today is called four, seven, eight breathing. It's super easy and it's a great thing to do along with the mindfulness jar to really get a sense of calm while you're imagining your emotions settling like the glitter in the jar. I'll explain to you what the exercise is, and then we can do it together with the mindfulness jar to really see and feel what it's like to calm down after your emotions overwhelm you. So the breathing exercise is like this. You're gonna inhale through your nose for four seconds. Make sure you take a nice deep breath really fill your lungs up and then you're going to hold your breath for seven seconds after you've done that you're going to exhale slowly for eight seconds you want to make sure you're not just going like because you need to be doing it for the full eight seconds to really calm down so let's try it all together with the jar and let's see what happens all right let's do the full activity all together now you're gonna start when you're feeling sad, angry, stressed, anxious, anything that's making your mind clouded and you're feeling upset. So take your jar, shake it up really well. 
really get the glitter swirling. Now, you're gonna set it down and we're gonna use our imaginations to visualize our emotions calming down with the glitter. And when we're doing this, we're going to use four, seven, eight breathing. So as you're watching the glitter calm down, let's do our breaths. I'm gonna start by inhaling for four, holding for seven, and exhaling for eight. Let's begin. You can finish off your four, seven, eight breath with a nice deep breath to really bring yourself down. And you'll notice after that, your jar is clear. Your emotions have calmed down, you're feeling more centered, and you're ready to go back to your day, make good choices, and feel a lot better. The great thing about the breathing and the mindfulness jar is you can do these things anywhere. You don't need any special tools. You don't need a special spot. You can do it in your house, in your room, in the kitchen, wherever you wanna keep your jar. And the breathing, you can do anywhere. You can take a step back, center yourself, do a quick round of breathing, and you're back to your day feeling so much better. My favorite thing about mindfulness jars and 478 breathing is that they're easy, fun, and effective techniques to calm yourself down. If you'd like to share a picture of your jar, feel free to email us at info at artsphere.org or hashtag loveartsphereinc wherever you post it. Thank you so much for joining me and Artsphere today and stay creative.